Even happy? It's so daunting, it's so much. <laughs> I got just like a Christmas rat. Oh, he loves licking. Bye guys, love you. The Buddy the Elf pillow. We're meeting our friends at Top Golf, but I did get a Roomba. <laughs> So what's going on with the wedding? Look how cute. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Megan, if you're new here. It's currently Thursday, December 14th. I haven't vlogged in like a few weeks now, I think. I feel like my life's been a little like chaotic and messy for the past month. So I just kind of took a little bit of a break. I have a busy weekend coming up, so I wanted to vlog. I'm starting this vlog a little early. If you guys are new here, my fiance works from home Monday and Friday. So whenever he's home, I typically don't vlog as much but I am home alone Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because I work from home full time. So it's just easier for me to vlog like when he's not here. A few things are coming up that I kind of wanted to just talk about. First of all, Christmas is in like a week and a half, which is crazy. I'm really excited for Christmas because I'm excited to go home and be with my parents and my brother. I was home a few times in the past month, which is like crazy. Um, home for me is, okay. I say home, but like where I grew up, I grew up in Connecticut. That's where my parents live still. I was in Connecticut in early November because me and my family were on a vacation in Rhode Island and on my way back to Pennsylvania, I stopped by their house for the day. I forget why, but it was nice to just be home for a little bit. And then I was back in Connecticut again two weeks ago, last week. I don't remember anymore. Time is just like all jumbled in my brain. But I actually got into a car accident in mid-November. My car got totaled. My dad came here to help me with that situation. And then I ended up going to Connecticut with him to get a new car. Um, so I was home with my parents and my brother for like two days, which was nice. But I'm excited to just like go back home, relax, take it easy. I love my family so much. And the older I get, the more I like miss them. And it is tricky because Matt, my fiance, we're engaged now. And eventually like... I'll spend Christmas here, but I just am not ready for that yet. I just want to go home and be with my parents. And Matt, his, like, he has, like, a big Italian family, so he sees them all the time. But for me, like, Christmas for me growing up was always just, like, me, my parents, and my brother. So I always, like, I never want to miss it because it's, it's all I have, really. My parents wouldn't be upset if I didn't go home for Christmas, but I just would be, like, I would just feel so bad. So I like to go home. That was a long tangent on that, but... This weekend, we have um, our bathroom is getting completely gutted and redone. This has been in the works for a year now. I mean, we've almost been in this house for two years, which is insane. But our guest bathroom, which is also like the kids' bathroom, um, we've never used that bathroom ever because when we first moved in, like there was water damage in the shower, the toilet, like the connection for the toilet was like failing and. It like wasn't safe to use because it was like on the cusp of like possibly flooding the house so um, we've never used that bathroom and we're like you know what instead of just like changing the toilet we're just gonna like literally gut the whole thing we want to tile it we want to make it look really nice so that has been like a rolling thing in the works for about a year now so we're just trying to like space out buying all the materials so it wasn't like a huge like chunk of money all at once it's kind of been like a slower process um, we're not in any rush because like we don't need to use that bathroom we have three other bathrooms in our house but I'm so excited for that one to get done because like it'll feel like a new house once that gets done because we have just like never used that bathroom it'll also be the guest bathroom it's right next to the guest bedroom so then we can have family come over and say like my parents can come visit my brother Matt's grandparents if they come over they don't want to drive home it'll just be so nice once all is said and done but that is getting gutted or like demoed on Sunday. But before that, I'm getting my nails done on Saturday. I feel like I always show my nails. They're so grown out. This is like five weeks, I think. They look black, but they're like dark, dark red, like a wine red. But I think I'm gonna go with a Christmas color red when I go in this week. Matt and I have a double date with two of our friends at Top Golf on Saturday. And then my friend texted me and said, are you busy Saturday? Because there is a Santa bar crawl. I might be doing that. A lot of stuff going on. And then when our bathroom gets demoed on Sunday, the Eagles play that night, which means we'll have a Eagles watch party at our neighbor's house. Like we do like every weekend. I look forward to it like every Sunday. It's so much fun. But I just wanted to like start this vlog and kind of just like get my thoughts out there because life just feels like really chaotic right now between like 
my car and then there was some stuff going on at like my grandma's house christmas and i need to buy some gifts for christmas still which is like i feel like i have like no money right now because life has just been like so expensive i just wanted to start this vlog i know my intros are always so long because i always have so much to say when i start vlogging but um yeah bear with me it's beautiful outside it's sunny it's so nice luckily it's been sunny this winter like i hate when it's just like cloudy and gray this whole past week has just been like so sunny and beautiful and it just makes me happy cuties hey winnie i just had to change maxi's collar today oh you want to show everyone your new collar oh he loves licking it's his favorite thing. <laughs> but I had to change his collar to this blue one because his kitten one was too tight. It was getting too small. You're a big boy. I guess they're eight months old now. My two kittens. Hi, baby girl. I had to change hers like a few weeks ago. Maybe last week. Because she's like such a chunk but i think she just like i think once her like body size like gets bigger like when she matures fully she won't look as fat like she'll lean out but she's just you're a chunk but it's okay look at this cat max all right you good this is so cute guys this is so sweet hey baby girl I still need to get them all little collars just with their, um, not collars, but I need to get them little ID tags with their names and my phone number in case they ever get outside because they're all obsessed with like wanting to go outside. I mean, I'm sure that'll wear off eventually, hopefully, but I'm always afraid they're going to get out. They're all microchipped, all three of them, but I just get worried. Like what if they get out and like, it's just easier if someone finds them and they find my phone number, easy peasy, rather than taking them to the vet and everything, but you're my baddies. I did want to show you guys. So Pottery Barn had a collab with Elf this year for I think Elf's 20th anniversary of like being released. And I had to get the bed sheets. I just had to do it. I like, if you guys know me, I don't know if I've ever expressed this on my channel before, but I love Elf. It's like my favorite, like one of my top favorite movies of all time, not just like Christmas. Hi. <laughs> So I don't want to like take the bed sheets down right now, but basically this is what they look like. It's so cute. And I love that it's not just like the graphics from the movie. It's not like they just took like Will Ferrell's face and like printed it on a bed sheet. Someone like designed this, like someone painted this or whatever they did. It's so pretty. I just think it's so like timeless and cute and so Christmassy and perfect. And then there's more to it than that. There's like more, but like the bed sheet. It's so cute. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you guys when I get in bed later. I didn't want to like, I don't want to mess it up right now. But I also got the Buddy the Elf pillow. Like, are you kidding? It's so cute. I love it so much. I have like a lot of Pottery Barn pillows downstairs that I've collected over the past like three Christmases. They have so many. Pottery Barn, I'm such a sucker for like the Pottery Barn pillows. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, so now I have Buddy the Elf and I don't even want to cut the tag off. I want to like leave this on here so cute i just have him sitting in my office but I'll, I'll put him there for now and then i set up my humidifier the other day i get like really bad dry nose in the winter so i need that running like at all times to help hi baby girl oh you want belly rubs say hi She's so pretty, but she's so heavy. I think you're my heaviest cat, baby girl. I, the vet's gonna yell at me for this, but I don't know how to fix your, your diet because you all eat the same foods. Like, how am I gonna get you to eat different food? <laughs> Cutie. I 
really wanted to go for a walk, but I wasn't able to during lunch because I got distracted and I just had like a million people texting me and I was like on my phone and like catching up on social media stuff that I hadn't been doing earlier this morning. Like, and then I just ran out of time to go for a walk. And then I forgot I had a meeting at two. It wasn't like an urgent meeting. It was just like a, like a meeting you can just join if you want to. It was about like exercise and how to keep your goals for the new year. And then I'm so hungry and I've been doing this recently. I just don't know what to eat. So I just make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> and I always put too much jelly. And it always like drops all over the plate, but then I like like dip the pieces in it and then eat the rest of it. <laughs> That's what's up right now. I am gonna go for a walk soon. Like right when work's over, I'm gonna run outside and go for a walk. And then I'm watching Rachel on Rates vlogs. Her vlogs are my favorite. I love her. She just announced she was pregnant. And I'm so excited for all her content of being pregnant. Like she's so cute. I love her. Do you want some treats before I go on a walk? Okay, just got back from a walk. I did a nice little two mile walk, which was good. Except my fingers are like absolutely frozen because I didn't wear gloves. It's five o'clock. I guess I should make dinner soon because I'm like really hungry. Because all I had today was that oatmeal and then a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hi. He is like the most loving thing right now. Can I take my coat off and I'll pick you up? Hey, Rachel. 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 Hey, Rachel
for a wedding dress shopping it's not until february but i made this appointment like back in november because it was like the earliest time i could get like this place is very like sought after it's called daydream it's in ardmore it's like right outside the city so it's funny because i've been meaning to text her about it for weeks i'm like i need to tell matt's mom about this appointment in case she like wants to come and i finally was like oh my god like i literally forgot to tell you about this so i said sent her the invite for it so uh, it's like it's a whole thing and i every time i talk about wedding planning i just feel like I feel like you always like look at these women that are getting married and they just seem so much older and polished and put together than I feel. And I just feel like I'm sitting here and like I feel like I am not like put together enough to be planning all this. So it's definitely weird. And I think it's also weird because like Matt and I, we've literally pretty much lived together the entire duration of our relationship. So taking this next step just feels like super weird because we've been living together for like six years at this point so it's just like i don't know it just feels so strange to like take that next step and like actually get married anyway just wanted to update that it just really got my brain thinking about it again because she was like have you given it any more thought yet and i was like not really and she's like you need to start thinking about it and i was like all right <laughs> i was like nothing's gonna happen until after the new year at this point it's just it's too much right now but yeah because i think i was kind of on it and then my whole car accident happened and that kind of like threw a wrench in everything and then the holidays started happening like thanksgiving and now christmas and we just got really busy so i'll get back with it in like a month well i'll get back with it like the new year i know exactly what i want it's just the matter of like putting it into motion like putting money down setting the date and everything and then him and i we have to get an engagement photo shoot done but i don't like winter time like i don't want to do an engagement photo shoot in the winter stick around if you're interested in like wedding content especially from someone who doesn't know what she's doing <laughs> we've got to change the bulbs in this kitchen because it just gives me the worst like washed out look i just like sent a snapchat to someone and i looked absolutely deathly what i'm doing now and i've been putting this off is our christmas cards and i don't want to mail anything out until i have everything recorded of like everyone we're sending them to and need i need to keep a document of everyone's addresses i have everyone's addresses like written down in a book and i have pictures of every card i sent last year but i never sat down and like made a document of like everything so i'm gonna do that now also like a lot of our friends like when you're at this stage of life like people move apartments they buy houses they get different addresses so there's a lot of new addresses i need to like, actually document and like record as well as like my cousin got married and they bought a house or like they i don't know what they moved into like they have a new address and like matt's uncle sold his house and he has a new address so i just need to like record everything so i have everything written down so i made a google sheet and i'm going to sit here and document everyone's addresses <laughs> and then i have to actually put i written like i hand addressed all the cards already i just need to like actually put all the cards into the envelopes and then like put them in the mailbox tomorrow but i didn't want to mail them until i did this step which is the step i've been putting off so i'm gonna do this now hopefully i get this done tonight it's nine o'clock but like I'm drinking Diet Coke. I'm gonna get this done tonight. So, Hallmark in the background. I have a candle burning. That's what's up. <laughs> Thank you.
This is what they do, like, they all just lay here. <laughs> Get over here and tell me what I wanna hear. Better yet, make your girlfriend disappear. It's like 8 o'clock, we're gonna go look at Christmas lights. We just had quesadillas for dinner. I'm just like closing up the house before we go drive around and I need to give the cats treats. I also took a shower earlier, so my hair is just like a mess. I just felt gross. Like you know when you feel gross and like a shower just like fixes everything? That's how I was feeling today. Okay guys, you want some treats? I'm gonna get a Rice Krispie. All right, bye guys, love you. Put up lights right for fun. Yeah, probably. Look at that one back there. This house looks really good. Hi guys, is this the same angle as my old car? Oh, my exposure is super low, I forgot. There we go, that's better. Okay, good morning everyone. Well, it's 1.30, it's Saturday. I just got my nails done. I got just like a Christmas, Christmas red. I thought it was pretty. I dropped my engagement ring off at the jeweler again this morning because I needed them to take it like another quarter size down and I dropped it off at like 10 and it's 1.30 and I'm like, I wish they would call me. I wish it was done. Like, I don't know if it's done yet. Because <laughs> we're going, we're meeting our friends at Top Golf at, well, our bay starts at 2.15. So I guess we should get there around 2. But like, Matt's still in Reading. He had a basketball game for like a new league he's in. Top Golf is in King of Prussia. It'll take him like 45 minutes to get here and he hasn't left yet. So like, I don't want to be there without him. So I tried to call him, he didn't answer. So I'm just going to sit in my car until he calls me because it'll take me 20 minutes to get to king of prussia i'm just kind of waiting for the jeweler to call me back i don't want to drive all the way over there and like wait for matt and i don't want to hang out like i don't know these people so i'm not gonna go hang out <laughs> until matt's like on his way so kind of waiting for him to call me back or for the jeweler to call me back so that's where we're at right now i was all over the place this morning i got up this morning i stopped at the post office on my way to the nail salon oh my nail appointment was for 10. my nail appointment was for 10 but the jeweler opened at 10 and i was like i want i want to drop the ring off at like when they open so that maybe it'll be done by the time my appointment's over so i did that but then i was late to my nail appointment so i texted my lady i was like hey like i'll be a little bit late if that's okay and i texted her earlier today so that, like i think they open at 10 so i didn't want her to like rush here but then i also dropped off a package at the post office like a poshmark order and then i stopped at the jeweler and then my nail lady was like can you stop and get me a coffee and i was like okay so then i went to duncan for her and then i didn't get to the nail salon until 10 30. It took her like two hours to do my nails. Actually, a little bit longer. She's she's really, really good at it. it. She just like talks a lot while she's doing my nails. And I expect that, like I know that's gonna happen. So it usually takes like two hours to do my nails. But then I needed cash for a tip. So then I went to Wawa and then she also needed more creamer for her coffee. So when I was at Wawa, I got little cups of creamer and I got money from the ATM. And then I just went back to the nail salon. I gave her the creamers and I gave her her tip. And now I'm in my car kind of just like in limbo i was gonna go to matt's parents but everything just ended up taking longer today so i'm not gonna stop by i don't think matt's mom's home anyway she's running errands with um matt's sister she texted me i'm starving i had uh like a breakfast sandwich with like sausage and cheese this morning and then i just ate a banana and now i have a granola bar and i'm just like anticipating that i'm gonna eat at top golf so i just i'm so hungry though like my blood sugar is like not doing well. I'm starting to feel a little delusional.
listen, I've been good this year. Make your list and check it twice. I'll leave you a note. All right, we're back home. It's like 10 o'clock. After Top Golf, we went to the mall, which was really fun and it was so pretty. And I love like seeing all the Christmas decor and everything. But it was like, it was an absolute zoo. There were so many people. Like, I don't think we've seen them all that crowded in like, I don't even know how long, but it was so crowded. And we went to Floor and Decor. We got the rest of the stuff we needed for our bathroom. So the guy is coming tomorrow to start work on that which is crazy. I'm exhausted, I'm so tired. But I should get my ring resized, which is good. I feel like, I still feel like it's like a little bit too big, but when, when they had me try the ring sizer for like a size five, it felt like it was like almost too hard to get off. Hi. Oh, hi. So we went with five and a quarter. Okay. <laughs> She screams, I promise she's fine. That's just like, that's just like, that's just what you do, right? You just scream, girl. She's so cute. And we're gonna go to bed. My friends wanted me to go out tonight to like a bar crawl, like a Christmas bar crawl. And I like, I intended on going, but then like today during the day, I was just like, I forgot about it. And then I got home and they were like, are you coming? And I was like, no, <laughs> like, not anymore. All right, so I'm gonna go to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Take what off? That door? Yeah, yeah probably. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The you took this door out? Where did, where did you put the door? It's downstairs. Oh. The first piece of trim coming off for the demolition. <laughs> oh. And we're off. Nice. Coming to help, are you? Come on, investigate. Can you give me my jacket, please? <laughs> Where's that? It's right in my bag, right there. Oh. You just have knives in here? Yeah, what do you call it? Like the... Is it this thing? It, no, babe. It's the one that goes up and down. What do you want? A box call? cutter? Yeah. yeah. I don't see it, though. That works, it's fine. But I, I honestly don't even see what you're talking about in here. This looks better than the blue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love that we, wait, is the tile going all the way to the ceiling? I think so. Okay, good. Cause we never painted that. And we never painted this. Yeah, that's I think it's like, do it. We should. It looks so ugly. Ah. doing our bathroom is coming over today to demo the bathroom but matt's matt's so excited he already started so he's taking all the trim off he took the doors off and i think he's trying to get the floor up like the um the, lin the linoleum that's on the ground so we'll see i just made my coffee i laid in bed until like 11 this morning i was so tired i slept for like nine hours which is very unlike me but it's like dark and gloomy <laughs> It's gonna rain a long time. <laughs> so I laid in bed for a while. I do have to go to the grocery store later today and that's basically all I have to do and make dinner. So um, that's the day, that's what, we're, uh, that's what we're up to. So the lighting in here makes my face look so bad. <laughs> okay, bye. Hi everyone. I'll show you guys the bathroom when I get home, but the contractor just left. 
I was always planning on going to the store when he was here today, just so like, I was like out of the way and just like not in the house because Matt was gonna be here anyway. But then he parked, <laughs> he parked his truck and trailer like right in our driveway and I couldn't get out and I like didn't want to ask him to move his truck because he had like a trailer on it with all his stuff. And, like the trailer had like the door open. So it wouldn't have just been an easy move. He would have had to like close up the trailer and then like move his truck. And I just didn't feel like, I didn't want to bother him. So I waited till he was done and left. So he just left and it's like 7.30. I'm just now going to the store and I'm getting stuff that we need for dinner. And I have to come home and cook. So dinner's gonna be extremely late tonight. So I've actually like really gotta go. <laughs> it looks really good. Yeah. I love that. Okay, hi everyone. It's two days later now. It's now Tuesday. Did I even vlog on Sunday? I think so. Yeah, I did. Okay, so now it's Tuesday. This will be like the last piece of this vlog, but I did get a Roomba for Christmas. So we're gonna like set this up. Um, I love technology like this. I think it's so cool and so fun, but I hate like the process of like setting it up and trying to like figure out how everything works. And I know setting up a Roomba is kind of like, you have to like have it learn your house. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now, this afternoon is setting up this Roomba. Getting started. I got the Roomba J7 Plus. All right, here's the power cord. Winnie baby. I'm nervous to see how the cats interact with this. Like, I don't know how they're gonna be, but I guess we'll see. I think I'm gonna keep it in the dining room for now. Hi, Winnie. This is the one we got. I don't know if this means much. I've never like seen a Roomba really in action either, so this will be like my first time seeing how this goes. Nice. Oh. Ooh, sleek. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be happy with where I put it because <laughs> there's not enough room on either side of it, but I'm gonna try because this is where I want to keep it because nothing else would go in this corner. Or I could always put it there. We have doors there right now. So I think it works best there. because It's like hidden in the corner. I did what I was supposed to and it's not waking up. So I'm like kind of just waiting. It said to point the front of it at the metal pieces, which I did. So I said it could take a few minutes. Maybe I'll like have to put it closer onto there. But I'm really excited because right now, this litter robot, the cats get litter everywhere. And again, like this is not gonna be here long-term. I just like need to move it into the basement and I just keep procrastinating. I just need to get like an extension cord so I can bring it downstairs and put it where I want to put it. There's just litter all over the place and I'm, I'm leaving it here to see if the Roomba will get it all. But I'm also nervous about it like picking up the litter on the wheels and then like dragging it around. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm stupid. They want you to put it like actually on the charging base. Okay, so now it's just like sitting. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so maybe now I can set up the app. I'll just let it try that. Okay, it wants me to name my Roomba. What should I name it? I kind of, I want to name it, I want to name it something funny because my litter robot is named Poo Remover. Let's see, let's Google some funny names. Dustbin Bieber, DJ Roomba, the cat sitter. That's kind of funny. I just want to name him Buddy. <laughs> I feel like that'd be kind of funny. Roomba Loompa. Wait, that's so funny. I'm just gonna call him Buddy because I feel like that's kind of funny. That's really not funny, but you can say like, go home, buddy. Like they do an elf. Is that funny? Okay, now it says it's gonna take a few minutes to set up the experience, loading my experience. So. How exciting. I feel like it's so crazy. Like you get older and just like the amount of things you want in your house is just like ridiculous. Like it's just like literally so many things that you need, not need, but like so many like house gadgets that you want as you get older. And it's like, now they have the like vacuums that can do mop and vacuum at the same time. Like I want that. Dyson makes one, but it's like $900. Oh, it says it's done. So it says, welcome to the world, buddy. Matt is afraid that it's gonna like, if a cat throws up, he's afraid that it's gonna like run over the puke and like drag it all over the house. But it has a camera on it. So I feel like it would know not to do that, right? This is so interesting. I'm so nervous for the things to start like, like going around. 
right. I just got a package in the mail from my grandma. I'm assuming it's like Christmas gift stuff, but none of it's like really wrapped like it's Christmas. So we're just gonna like open it. I like do not know what this is. Oh, candy. Oh, it's so cute. I guess there's more candy. Ooh. I think they're like little turtles, like chocolate turtles. She said it was fragile, but maybe she just meant because it was food. All right, here's the next box. Okay, it's a major scene, but I think she forgot that she already sent me one last year. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in the box. I'm not gonna like get it all, all out right now. I'll take it out later. I just need to clean up all this packaging. I just have like stuff everywhere because I have like the Roomba packaging out, now this packaging. The people that lived here before us owned a business. So if we keep getting this like type of like business owner mail, it's like rentals for like trailers and backhoes and like just tools, trucks, forklifts, scaffolding, concrete mixer, but we don't have a business. So but we get mail like this all the time and it's like addressed to like the business because I don't think he changed the business address. Matt left all his Home Depot receipts on the table. Thank you. Okay, anyway, that's all for now. Oh no. Always oh, bumping into things. It asked if I wanted him to map and I said yes. So here he goes. Max. Oh no. <laughs> Anyway, it's like how cute. I think I showed this house last year, but it looks so freaking good. Look how cute, they do such a good job. Look at that. I just wanted to share. Oh, they put so much work into that. Looks so good. I showed this house last year too. It's really hard to see because the reflection of my dashboard, but they put like trees up going there or they put trees going up their driveway it's so cute and then this house up here is so pretty matt and i call it like a little ski chalet it's hard to get on camera but it's so like it's like a big tall like framed house and they have a big tree in the middle i uh had pilates and then i went and ran some errands and then i got chick-fil-a for dinner and now i'm almost home okay Quick Target haul so I can finally eat my sandwich from Chick-fil-A. I'm still drinking the milkshake. I need to like let my palate like calm down before I like eat a spicy chicken sandwich. This is the mac and cheese mat and I like, I know I've shown this a lot, but I'm gonna show it again now that I have like more subscribers or I have like more people watch my videos now. This is the best mac and cheese in the world. I highly recommend it. Um, they I can only find it at Target and I'm pretty sure you can order on Amazon I would imagine and their website. So it's just like it's called Goodles. This is the flavor We like the best Winnie It's the Chetty Mac. So I got four boxes of that and now they have all these new flavors So we're gonna try down the hatch. It's a spiral noodle with creamy chili popper mac so I'm like a spicy mac and cheese this one is Here Comes the Truffle. So it's shells with um, truffle, cheddar, when eat, honey. This one is Shell a Good. So it's just aged white cheddar and shells. This one's Hey Hey Elote. What are you doing? You want the good olds too? This is street corn flavor with co. I've never even said this word before. Cotija, Cotija cheese. I don't know how to say that. And then this one is Smoky Doki. So it's Gouda mac with some smoky flavor oh wait i did get a few more oh no that's it that's it for the mac and cheese but then i did get some household products um i had got more dishwasher cleaner because i just used the last pack the other day and then this is clr mold and mildew stain remover we have like some mold in our shower mixed with like hard water stains and stuff so I figured this was a good option. We're getting a lot of mold like down on the like where the wall meets the floor and it's really gross. So I'm going to try to use that. And then when I was in there, I saw these and I literally waited in such a long line to buy these. So they're little like shot glass necklaces, like little martini glasses. They're all for like the New Year's stuff. Winnie, 
they had all this stuff in the dollar section for like New Year's Eve and stuff. But my friend is having her birthday party in January and the theme is like martini, like black and white themed. So I thought this would kind of be fun and she can just like keep these if she wants or like I can take them back, it doesn't matter. I just bought four of them. And then I know she likes disco balls and I'm pretty sure like disco balls is kind of like part of the theme too. So then I just got two of these little like disco ball necklaces. That would be so cute. She could like, but I thought it was cute. Um, you know, a little, a little party favor. So that's it. I also got my Chick-fil-A. I'm gonna eat that now. And I guess this is the end of this video. This is kind of like a weird spot to end. It's like Tuesday now, but that's about it. Uh, I might start a new vlog tomorrow and kind of make that like my Christmas vlog or maybe like leading up to Christmas. And then I'll do a video like the week I'm home, but it won't be like a traditional video. It'll just be like clips that I gather throughout like the week that I'm home with my family. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've watched all the way to the end of this video, I know it was kind of like a really random, a lot of like weird stuff going on, but hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.